Hey, Chelsea, what's going on? Uh, it's Rob and Jess from RHAP. Happy that you could make some time uh, to chat with us. Uh, you and Robin were a lot of fun to watch on the race this season. Um, could you talk a little bit about uh, the ultimate final leg and uh, why you had so much uh, trouble ultimately getting around Slovenia? Um. Oh, yeah. So uh, when I started the roadblock, it just was tough. Like you just don't want to screw up. And I didn't realize how far away or where the statue was that we were going to. And then Anna Lee came and I have to admit, like I got pretty in my head about her getting in front of me. Um, so that was maybe when I started, got a little bit sloppy and then those trips took forever. So by the time I got back to Robin, I was already um I was already hour behind or so and like I've said that was like the most magically humiliating thing I've ever experienced <laughs> that's it's so it was so hard to watch that happen I'm sure it was probably very hard to watch it back as well uh was that the point where you realized that the leg was over or at what point did you at what at what point did you kind of decide to stop and just enjoy the leg for what it was? I think that was, we had already agreed to enjoy the leg for what it was. Um, I don't know if you can gather, but the, the leg prior to this one was like fraught with tension and we had agreed to just make the best of it the next day. And then for us to be so far behind right from the get go was enough for us to take a step back and then just getting lost out of our minds um that that definitely was the nail in the coffin so by the time we got to the caves we really like we didn't run to the clue or anything we walked through the caves and just enjoyed how absolutely incredible it was Chelsea, you said there was a lot of tension on the last leg of the race uh was that internal tension or tension with the other teams oh internal tension i mean we don't we hardly had any, for as much tension there was between us and the teams, like there's so little time we were with the other teams. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, you're basically where we were, our spot, each leg, like occasionally we'd make it to the middle of the pack, but we were either in the back, anomaly in first on our Vietnam, on our Vietnam leg, Mm -hmm. or like following John and Greg. So there like actually wasn't a lot of intermingling with the other teams as far as it was for us. Yeah, I, I actually, I wanted to know a little bit more about that, about your relationships with the other teams. Uh, was there anybody that you, um, that you thought you might want to work with or any teams that you teamed up with at any point during the race? Yeah, we teamed up with Joel and Garrett and Joe and Ian um, and we're happy to work with them considering it wasn't a fight to the finish line. Um, and we were super bummed when Joe and Ian left. Uh, in Vietnam, when when Joe and Ian forgot their clue on the boat, um, they don't show it in on the show, but we had let them go in front of us to get on those uh, at the fruit market in order to get their clue. And that doesn't really fit the villainous storyline of the evil Karens that don't help people. So, <laughs> but it was See, like, it was like not even a question though. Right. But we were also all at the, in the same part of the pack at the same time too. Yeah. Uh, did you feel like that the show uh, depicted you and Robin as villains uh, across these episodes? Um, I, yeah, I think they did. I think that, I don't think that it was like the people in my life don't read how I was edited as I was a villain. Mm -hmm. um, the people who don't know me at all are just kind of went with the, like they got a little sound bite here in the airport and they got a little sound bite watching Anna Lee at the dance competition. So Chelsea obviously is hard to work with and is a villain. Oh, you know, full well in the realm of reality TV, I am not a villain. Mm-hmm. Compare, what did I do? Did I, you know, did I, did I say my grandma died? So I <laughs> Chelsea, don't or... you want to get onto the house of villains too? 
No, it doesn't <laughs> suit me at all. <laughs> really, like I, I'm, I've, I've got like a, a brash personality, and I can be assertive, and I, but I'm really. Mm-hmm. The people in my life would they call me snarky from time to time, but mostly I am not a villain. Yeah, well, it's hard for snarky to come across correctly sometimes. I think Rob and I both know that extremely yes. well. Yeah. yeah. Now you have you have kind of betrayed yourself uh, already as someone who is a big fan of reality TV across the board. So what was it about Amazing Race? And um, can you tell us a little bit about your journey to getting on the show? Um, so Robin and I had very, uh, you know, we were up to no good in our Mm twenties and then we went separate directions and she'd started having children. Um, and then I got back to basically when I had kids, we started hanging out again. And then with her transformation and her just going from the state that she was in to being like an absolute crossfit queen mm-hmm. um it just and i've i have been i'm in the best shape i would say of my life as well so we were kind of like pumping each other up one day and then it occurred to us um that now might be the best time we've ever had to go ahead and apply for the show can you talk a little bit of some of the uh high points uh for you and robin in doing the race Like favorite um, moments. Yeah. My favorite moments with Robin in the race. I mean, just being underneath the Hollywood sign mm-hmm. and having all the production crew around. And that was just in, beyond belief. Um, obviously, winning in Vietnam was super exciting. And not very, very few people in the grand scheme of things get to hear Phil say, you're the first to the mat. Um I think working together on that dragon in the in the cave was just so unique and the surroundings were so beautiful and not having to worry about what place we were going to come in was also a high point. I mean, I, there's so many. Mm-hmm. Watching her on that cement bike, like up, going up a hill. Do you know how far you were behind ultimately? It, I mean, it was it was dark by the time you, you don't got want there, it to but... get dark out on Amazing no, Race. You definitely we knew don't. we were far behind. Yeah. <laughs> um, and there's no exits on the freeways. That is something that future um, Amazing Race contestants should know. If you are back on a freeway, you're there for a while. Mm-hmm. Uh, going back to uh, the leg when you had to uh, do the mustard tasting, uh, mm-hmm. it seemed like that that was something that was uh, getting to be especially frustrating for you and Robin. Can you talk about going through that experience? Oh, I would. Does it seem like it was frustrating? I thought you said that uh, you two would never want to have mustard ever again. Oh, that wasn't us. We like mustard. Oh, okay. I apologize. Yeah. Oh, no, it wasn't. I was actually, I was ready to, I knew that we had a buffer. And so I was ready to go do the soccer challenge that appealed to me more. Um, and she was like, no, we got this. We got this. And I ended up memorizing almost none of them. And she almost did the mm-hmm. whole thing. Yeah, because she had spoken German, right? And I think that was helpful. Yeah. Yes. But the the act of memorizing the taste, the look, And the German word, like, I didn't practice for that. Well, how could you really? No. Yeah, it was, that was too much for me. My brain just went like frozen. I'm a freezer. She's a fighter. It's interesting um, because you do seem like you are very different personalities that complement each other very well. Um, Could you speak more to um, like Robin being, a good partner for you in that respect? Like how, you know, were there things you discussed ahead of time about who would do what and how did that dynamic work? Um, Yeah, we definitely discussed what we, who would do what. We weren't sure who would deal with, um, who would deal with vendors or with taxi cab drivers. And I I ended up being the one who was able to, who was able to just kind of matter of factly try to get the information we needed um let's see what else as far as who would do what Mm. 
I kind of think we thought that sh I would do more of the memory stuff, but she ended up being kind of more of the memory person. Yeah, we kind of went over it. I can't really, I don't really remember off the top of my head what we decided who would do what, but. Yeah. Chelsea, did you and Robin have a reaction to narrowly avoiding uh, the U-turn or did you not even know that it was so close until you watched the episodes? Um, so <clears throat> I had thought that we were up for, up for, uh, I could just tell by the way that people were chatting with each other and who I was chatting with. And I got a sense after the whole tile debacle with Anna Lee that she, that they had been kind of talking about us. Um, and I know that prior to the U-turn, we had talked about maybe uh, Morgan and Lena because they had the express pass and jo Jocelyn and Victor. So I think we were the next ones up since we were first. And then on top of that, just not maybe being as close to some of those contestants. Um, so like I said, um, I had a sense we were definitely a potential. I knew four teams were not voting for us i knew they were probably going steve and Annalie. it was rob and Corey was the wild card i we i don't think we'd been with them at all at that point um and they were kind of the swing vo vote in my mind okay and so so you you voted for steve and Annalie on the basis of knowing what other people were going to do yeah but if you remember if you go back to that clip i say i want to vote for john and greg but i don't want to make their mom mad like <laughs> I was hoping we'd have a chance to take a shot at John and Greg um, just because I could tell they were, they were so on top of things. Um, but you know, women often get turned against each other. So that's just kind of the way it worked out. Okay. Chelsea, anything else you want to make sure that the listeners know from uh, your and Robin's time on the amazing race? Um, we had a really wonderful time. And the main reason we wanted to go on was to share Robin's story with the world. I think that, any one of her circumstances is enough to, you know, take someone completely out and for her to be able to go through all of that and to perform as well as she did on the amazing race. Like that was, that was our main objective for, for going on the show. And I know she's touched a lot of people with that. So yeah, that's that. well, um, please send our regards to Robin. Uh, we hope she's doing okay. And thanks for making some time to chat about this season. That okay? was so nice meeting you. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, thank nice to talk to questions. you too, Chelsea. Okay, take care. Okay. Bye. Bye.